Six things to consider when starting weight training with PKU. They may need to adjust elements of your diet, protein quantity, but we need to make sure we're getting an adequate amount. And that's why. Now, these six points that I'm going to mention in this video are based on my own experience here. If you weight train already with PKU and you have knowledge that you would like to share to others as well, please feel free to like the video and comment in the video as well and share your tips, tricks, information and what worked for you as well. Number one for me was informing my clinic team and dietitian team that I wanted to start weight training. And the reason for that was not because of the physical side of weight training. It was the nutritional point. I didn't know really how to approach it. I'd heard and read information about people saying that if you want to grow, then you're going to have to eat more. I knew that I had a low pro, I knew that I had a low protein tolerance level. I had no clue how to even start this process. So the clinic team and the dietitian team was really useful to get me started. And the other beneficial reason for letting the clinic and dietitian team know is that they may need to adjust elements of your diet. Um, maybe even your protein intake. They may be able to recommend certain foods. Also, they may be able to increase your formula or supplement or PKU protein drink or whatever it is you have. And that is going to help 100%. Number two, protein quantity. So building and developing muscle relates to a few different things. Protein amount, rest and recovery, training hard and water. The more you move, the more exercise you do, especially demanding exercise like weight training, it will put your body into a position where it needs to recover. Protein is utilized in a way to repair our bodies and our muscles, but we need to make sure we're getting an adequate amount. And that's why following stage one with letting your dietitian and clinic team know what you're doing could be a really useful step. One of the battles that I had was for the first four years of this journey, I was put on a protein level that was equivalent of someone not really working out that much. Now, thankfully, that has changed because of a new team and they understand fitness and muscle mass and weight training a little bit more maybe. They've increased my protein level. Now, this is from my protein drinks, it's not from food, uh, but still, it puts me now a good standing to hopefully with extra training, try to increase and develop some muscle mass. So protein quantity is super, super important and one that might be useful to have that discussion with your clinic team. Number three, training intensity, ensuring that we're training hard. Now, the truth is, for me at the start of all this process, that was quite a tough one for me. I thought I was training hard, but actually I wasn't wasn't probably pushing myself enough to be fair so that's something I've had to kind of battle with it was a mixture of not having enough knowledge and understanding movements and form and pushing myself hard because I mean if I'm doing a deadlift and my form's wrong but I'm pushing myself hard I'm going to injure myself so there was a bit of caution there to be fair and listen there's so many different movements that I'm still learning I only just figured out not that long ago a movement that was a compound movement that I've been doing wrong um, so constantly constantly learning but without actually training hard we've got no chance of doing the damage strong word but doing the damage to our muscles that we need to in order for them to grow and and develop and become stronger so whatever movement you're doing those final reps that you're doing where you're really really pushing to the point where you know you can't get much further that's where your muscles will rip and tear enough that when you give it that rest recovery and nutrition it will repair and grow stronger so push hard something i need to constantly constantly remind myself as well number four number four water intake we need to make sure that we're consuming enough water and that we're not dehydrated i think a lot of people out there are chronically dehydrated to be honest and probably confuse hunger for being actually dehydrated but if we're going to attempt to weight train and develop muscle water intake is going to be super super important number five recovery so that means for me anyway it means making sure that i'm not training every day I mean, hey, I'm not 25 anymore. What it does mean is that I've 
got rest days in place. So if I have a training program, I'm making sure that the program reflects days where I can switch off and recover, but also maybe that if I'm, let's say, doing upper body or chest or whatever on a Monday, I'm not doing it on a Tuesday. Those gaps will help our muscles to heal and develop. And when they do that, they get bigger and stronger. Recovery then is super, super important. But a part of that process is obviously sleep. And sleep is where our body restores itself. And so for me, one of the investments that I made was to get a sleep tracker. It enabled me to understand my sleep patterns and change them for the better. So understanding my deep sleep, how much I was getting, when I was actually falling asleep, and just to have a bit more of an understanding of the patterns that I was going through over a long period of time. That's been super useful for me. I had a a Aurora ring that kind of helped me do that. But you can get Apple Watches and whatever that will do it as well. But at the most basic level is just to make sure that if you've had heavy training sessions, you're giving your, your body some time to recover and get good quality sleep. Now, if you've got young children, good luck with that. Been there, done that. But then just making sure that you're mindful of that and you don't push yourself so hard. Number six. Another thing that helped me was to make sure I was following a training program. When I first started out years and years ago, I was just going in in the gym and just randomly doing exercises based on what I felt like I should be doing at the time. But actually, though, utilizing a training program where there are certain days for certain exercises allowed me to track my progress. It also kept me focused as well. Obviously, super useful. But also, more importantly, it put me in a position where I was documenting and charting my progress. I was writing down how many reps I was doing. I was writing down how how much weight I was lifting. And I still do that now. And what it means is that on a weekly basis, I can see where I'm at. I can also see if I'm progressing or if I'm declining. Um, So it's just a really useful way to stay on point really. Um, So from a training perspective, following a training program, even if it's one that a trainer makes for you, you pay for, or if you just utilize free resources on YouTube, etc., then either way, it's going to help you in your progress. So starting out, that's probably one of the best things you can do, I think, personally. So if you're considering joining the gym and starting weightlifting, definitely do it. Utilize all the people that um, are in those environments to learn from you and normally the staff that work in those environments are really, really useful as well. Just do it. It's, it's, for me, it's been awesome. So I'm sure it will be great for you as well. Go for it.